All right, hear me out, Zach. I've got a great concept for the Superman franchise that I think the fans might hate less than your Man of Steel. All right, first of all, we could cast Kanye West as Superman, and then get this. We could cast Taylor Swift, a.k.a. T-Swizzle, as Lois Lane. Now I'm going to let you finish, but... Yeah, I'll explain that later. Something's really been pressing on my mind lately, Frank. And what might that be? Rape. Would you uh, care to elaborate, or should I just dial 911? Rape is a serious problem in the world. Women are generally fragile, gullible, and lacking in depth perception. I've actually thought about quitting the film industry altogether just to defend women on the streets. You know, it's hard to believe that you're the sober one in this conversation. I'm not talking about being a vigilante here. I'm talking about teaching women to defend themselves. Okay, wait a minute. You're talking about some kind of a self-defense instructional DVD something or other? I'm dead serious. I was actually going to demonstrate some of my perfected maneuvers. Stand up! Wait a minute, I am not exerting myself unless it's an activity that involves cocaine and a former child star actress. Just pretend I'm some woman alone in the park that's just dressed in a way that screams like I'm asking for it. I mean, I'm not nearly drunk enough for this. What's my motivation? Peer pressure. Bad relationship with your mother. Think of something. Okay, now Frank, listen to me. I'm a master martial artist. I can make this hurt as much or as little as I want, so don't worry. You're in good hands. Well, I've been drinking, so what the hell? Let's do this. Question. What's the number one sign a rape's about to happen? Um, Bill Cosby is making cocktails? Wrong! It's all in the tit grab. Once the hand reaches the chest, your rape-free day is put to rest. So, reach at me like you're gonna grab my tits. Okay. Bam! Oh, I thought this was just a demonstration! And Mary Sue thought she was just getting dinner in a movie. She'd have been wrong too. Okay, now for this next technique, visual aids are important. I thought the aids happened after the rape. Not outside of West Africa. Now get in a push up position. God, what is this? Billy Blank's rape camp? Spread your legs. You're sick. Now, don't think for a second that a lesbian won't rape. Try to come at me with a good old scissor surprise. Arr, scissor me timbers! Confucius once said that scissors beats paper, but also rock beats scissors. Oh, I, seriously? God damn! Uh. Here, take the dildo. This is why I brought it. God, this is like John Travolta's Oscar after party all yeah, over again. Pretty much. Now, if you think a rapist dick has to be attached to him for the unthinkable to happen, think again. Because rapists with dildos are responsible for 100% of all dildo-related rapes. So, you're holding it just right, just the way I want you to. But now, you're going to come at me with an overhead assault. Caesarium! I'm going to use your momentum against you. Put you in a wrist lock to bring you down. And then, when I have you down, I'm going to break the wrist. Ah! Now that I've got full control, I'm going to give you a dose of your own medicine with what I like to call the reverse Tony Danza. Oh, oh, oh. man, why are you hitting yourself, Frank? You. Why do you keep hitting yourself? Weirdo. You're slapping yourself in the oh. face with your own dick. Oh, Is this your party trick at John Travolta's after parties, huh? Sometimes, oh. I can demonstrate more. Please don't. Reminds me of that time you pitched that idea for the rapist to the networks. You had to remind me of that, didn't you? You know, this is why television and I don't talk. By passing on the rapist, they passed on the empowerment of women the world over. It was a betrayal. I mean, it was insane. I mean, it's about uh, some homo man. Hey, don't call it gay, Frank! The rapist was never supposed to be a show about a man who rapes rapists. It's about a raper of rapists. There's a fucking difference. Well, your protagonist happens to be a man who has sex with other men. 
When a man rapes a woman, he ceases to be a man. Well, needless to say, the subject matter is not exactly prime time material. Have you considered pitching it to HBO? You know, that never occurred to me. But I like this idea better. It gives me a chance to give back on my blessings. But you know what? We're gonna talk about this later. I think I can hear rape happening in the other room. Wait, that's that's just the cleaning lady. God damn, I told Esperanza to quiet down when she's cleaning the toilets. <laughs> 